Welcome to the iCarly Awards for season one, hosted by the Third Wind Channel, where we're going to answer questions like, what was the best moment in the season? Who is the funniest character? Who is the best character? Blah, blah, blah. And before I begin the video, let me just say that we make episode reviews for iCarly and we are going to continue for season two. And uh, I will make this awards thing a season. Uh, I'll do one for each season, basically. So without further ado, let's get into the awards. Our first award is Best Duo. So which two characters worked the best together or had the best moments? And for me, it had to be Freddie and Carly. Although you could say it's things like uh, for example, Freddie and Millicent, or Harper and Dutch. But for me, best duo, Freddie and Carly. I thought the best moments came from Freddie and Carly talking. Like, even in the first episode, this scene, or the slow dancing in the Neville episode, or in the last episode, those crazy looks. Um, just these real talks with Carly and Freddie are the ones that really... Um, or, ah, how could I forget? I take a girl's trip, all the moments in that episode... Those are the ones that really connected me to the original series, and that's why I'm here. And uh, yeah, for me, they are no-brainer, the best duo. Let's move on to the next award, which is the best character. So the best character was a toss-up between two. If you've been watching some of my other iCarly videos, then you'll know who this is between. But I've given the best character to Hart Carly Shay this season. Uh, maybe a big surprise, but... Um, she isn't necessarily my favorite from the season, but I do appreciate what she did this season, and I have to give her the best character award. Just because um, we've kind of been... She's the one who brought this all back. She brought back the web show. She um, brought the people, everyone together, and all the... I mean, most of the episodes are kind of carried by her, so I just had to give it to her. She's done a lot this season, and I do think that she has just a lot of really fun moments, and... Um, some fun adventures this season. Moving on, we have the best new character. I wanted to give some of the newbies a shot, and really surprisingly, I gave it to Millicent. So at first, I was very skeptical, but as the season went on, I felt that she had the most natural chemistry with some of our OGs, like with Spencer and Freddy, and the way she, even like in the last episode, the way she tried to help out Freddy. Or in the episode, for example, uh, the I Gwen episode where she tried to get her father back with her st uh, or her mom. Uh, all these moments, just she just felt very natural in the show. And I think she's a really good new character. Another character I would say was, is a great meld into the, this universe is, for example, Double Dutch. Um, a lot of people would say, oh, Harper, of course. But for me, I still want to see more from her. I want to see what they can do with her going forward. I'm confident Millicent will have a bright future in the show. So she gets the new best character. Next up, we got best guest appearance. So we had basically every episode we had some kind of guest appearance. And for me, hands down, the best one was Neville. I think that a lot of people with agree will agree with me on this one. I just think that his return, it seemed like a day hadn't passed. He perfectly acted his character, and his antics are back, and in perfect fashion. I just loved it, and I love Neville. I think he's super funny and amazing, so has to go to Neville. Next up, we got Humor Award, or otherwise known as... <coughs> a bit sick for these awards. Um, the Humor Award, or otherwise known as the funniest character in the season, again, is between two characters, and that is Carly and Freddy, and this time it will go to Carly. I just think that, I mean, yes, like, on a different day, Freddy could get it, but I just, like, remembering funny moments from the season, Carly came to mind first, and it, it's the small things, like, her always messing something up, uh, or, um, just the small mannerisms she makes. She just has, she just had a slightly more, uh, a few more, like, funny moments than Freddy, although... Maybe the funniest moments are from Freddy. I don't know. Um, you know, maybe a lot of people say, oh, wait, why isn't Spencer a candidate? He's usually up there for humor, but I'll get to him in a bit, but I don't think he hit as hard as he did in the original as these two. So moving on, we have the most successful character of the season, and this one has to go to Harper. Um, she got... She quit her old job because she got... A dream job with a new big celebrity double dutch as the stylist she achieved her goals in one season and i, I just have to give it to her um my guesses are that freddie might be the winner next season 
uh, but this season for sure Harper. Moving on, we have the most evil character this season, and I did make a video about this subject, so I mean a lot of these awards, if you've been watching my videos, you might know, but <clears throat> the award goes to Argentia. So she this this woman is super evil she literally makes money off of girls misery and um, steals their personal information and ah oh, just awful she pretends to be their friend and is just evil next up we got the biggest disappointment this season and i mean like character wise and it doesn't mean they're a bad character it just means that i was maybe expecting slightly more and it's spencer this season again he's not the worst character by any means i love to see him back but the money has changed him for the worse. I think some of the, his like new problems are kind of snobby and he comes off as a dick sometimes. So it's just not the same good old Spencer. Uh, I almost wish he would lose his wealth. So and then maybe go back more into that funky artist type. Um, maybe that'd bring him back. I, I don't know. That This is just me. I, I, I thought he was a little disappointing this season. Not the best award to receive, of course. But uh, moving on, we have needed more time so this is the not award for a character that was so good in the f small amount of time they had that i wanted to see them more and you could put neville on this list but i think there was a more appropriate character which was miss benson who i really think could be a regular since she basically lives i mean doesn't she even live in the apartment so we we needed to see her more basically uh miss benson she's a, t a terrific actress and i just I, I don't know. I feel like she could be a mainstay in the show, and she and the dynamics with Freddy were always there. So it's a wasted opportunity not to see her more. Next up, we have the biggest lovebird, which is I believe our final award for characters, and this will go to Carly. I considered Spencer, and I considered Harper. Several of them, both of them, have had different um, more two, three, four more. Uh, encounters but Carly her whole season was focused on this every episode we had something <coughs> where she was exploring love interest and yeah she explored this season so she had to get the award but that is our 10 awards for the characters don't go anywhere there are more awards uh, but for characters yeah Carly takes it Freddy was really close to getting a few of the ones Carly got so maybe in a different world that would be like 3-2 or 2-2 so yeah Carly destroyed everybody this season, but uh, I, I'm very excited to bring this back at season two and see what kind of changes we'll see. So let's move on to the best episode. Again, if you've been following the channel, you might know, and I think you might know anyway, because to me, the standout episode of this season was episode 10, I Take a Girl's Trip, where we get to see that Carly and Freddy girl, I mean, not girl's trip, but j trip, and uh, Man, I love this episode, and for the original fans, I think this episode really was entertaining, and, like, that credit question was amazing, and there's something there, you know? It's exciting. Next up, we got the worst episode, which I believe is I Fox Apologize. It was a little bit too meta uh, for me, and uh, it was really cringy at the end with all the internet stuff, to be honest, and, and the resolution was kind of weird, and, eh. Like, the meme idea is alright, but, uh, eh. Not great. Moving on, we got the best Easter egg. And there's a lot of candidates for this. I was thinking long and hard, and there's just a lot of things you could do. Um, but I decided to go with Baby Spencer. Like, it was a long time ago now. Episode 1 seems like forever ago. But when I first saw Baby Spencer, I was like, oh my god. I want to watch this show. They're bringing Baby Spencer back, of all things. And it just had to be the best one for this season. You could have said Spaghetti Tacos, for example. But... Definitely for me, Baby Spencer. Moving on, best moment. And this is our last award for this video. And I had to think about it. Uh, some moments that come to mind are, for example, episode 11. I can fix it myself where Carly uh, from from her brother gets that the Vin Diesel kind of monument to remember Sam. We have... Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go straight into who wins the award because I want to talk about it. And that is... Episodes 13, episode 13's ending, the, the cliffhanger we got where Carly is thanking people for the Webicon um, award. And Freddy, the camera keeps cutting to Freddy and he has this look on his face. And Carly's about to say something about Freddy and she doesn't. And it's the cliffhanger is literally Carly 
car a, a, a love uh square as we were talking in the comments of the one of the previous videos it's it's crazy uh or love rectangle it's it's hilarious um a great cliffhanger and this moment just like it was so intense like it just uh it, it peers straight into your soul you know what i mean this freddy look and for me this is the best moment for sure being you know uh a credit supporter but um yeah uh, otherwise uh the, that's that's the whole awards for you and uh, i i love making this video and i can't wait for the next season's award let me know what you guys thought of the awards uh let me just bring up really quickly uh, that you know we have made lots of iCarly videos like character tier list for after the season ended we've made uh season one episodes tier list so i've i've talked about all the episodes and you can await uh season two predictions and maybe a season one uh, review kind of a overlook over the season coming in the next days but uh, otherwise has been the third wind let me know what who, who you which awards you would change which uh, give me your own list of awards i think there were like 14 or 15 awards so yeah what a fun video to make i can't wait to host the season two awards and uh thank you for watching this has been the third wind channel uh play the oscar um walk off music bye bye